Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. My name is Elliot Forbes and you're about to watch a product review from my show, Men's Grooming Weekly. I hope you enjoy. And the product that we have today is actually from a brand which I've loved for a long time. And they're a brand that I became aware of through, uh, it was an education place called Allion and Enna Salon. So they're based in Hoburn. There's Johnny Athona, who is head of Enna, uh, head of Allion, the education site, and also uh, Pedro Inchenko. Uh, they always use Davines products. They use the Day-Day spray, which is what I use as a cutting lotion. Uh, and that's how I sort of switched on to Davines products. They are an Italian brand. I believe they're carbon neutral with their products, how they get them out everywhere and how they manufacture them. And the first product we're gonna be focusing on then is the Davines and it's called, this is a strong molding clay. I believe it retails around the 17 pound mark and that's for 75 milliliters of it. Now, as you can see, it comes in a little gold tin and actually when you purchase it, it actually become, it comes in a paper wrapping, which is actually really, really quite nice. Actually, it feels very elegant, very expensive when you open it and actually when you, when you pick it up to buy it actually, it has the same uh, paper effect as the, the logo, which you can see on top. So it's got the blue and the blue and greeny effect with it. You rip that open and then that gives it a little description on the inside uh, about the product as well. And the way Davines then describe this product is it's for matte styles with a strong hold. This is a strong molding clay, allows for, oh, there's a bit of a typo on here, allows for, lets you get creative with hairstyling, providing a long lasting hold without a sticky or wet looking finish. So, which is something which I always look for. I, my hair is quite thick, uh, it's quite dense, and I want something that sort of gives it a nice hold, something that gives it some texture, really, don't really want it to move too much during the day, uh, but I want it to be have a matte effect with it. I don't want it to get shiny, I don't want it to get greasy, I and mean, it's not something that really I like. So before using the product, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt spray into the hair. I'm gonna use a generic one, we're not gonna be talking about that. I'm gonna use the same sea salt spray throughout all of the different products, and then I'm gonna dry that into my hair, into the style, and then we can then apply the product to it. So when we open this, actually, What's the smell like? Actually, it's not too much of a, a scent to it at all. You can't really get any sort of feel with that. And I'm gonna then put my finger in, have a little feel of it. Okay, it's very firm actually to try and then get any out. Okay, it's very hard to get some out actually at the very start. So that is some coming out there now. Okay, let's see how this then warms up and then see how it feels see if there's any more of a scent that comes out once it's a bit more warmed up. So first thoughts with this actually, there's a bit of a, a grittiness through the hands you can feel when it's working through. So you feel as it separates and as it's getting warmer, there's a bit of a grittiness in through there. It feels quite oily at the moment. Okay, so we've got that evenly spread out through the hands. And then when we're working this through, put this in at the back at the very start, so I want to just plonk it all in at the front. Okay, so my first feeling with that is actually it's gonna take quite a bit of this product to be able to use on my hair. That then didn't feel like it sort of spread too much and it sort of almost then went out, went quite quickly through there. So pop it in at the front now that we've put it in behind. Okay, now we're gonna work back into the back and yes, I do have a bit of a mullet going on at the moment. I have very much a mullet going on at the moment. So it's uh, putting a little bit of product in at the back, get the mullet looking good, or style the mullet. Don't know whether it's gonna necessarily look good. Okay, so we put that in, and that's about the amount of product that I would normally put in through my hair. So let's see how now this looks down when you can see it in the mirror and actually get it styled into a position. Okay, so. I always look to just get a nice bit of texture. I want the shape to build it up so I can build up a little bit more of a corner in through here, so the strength, and then have that almost a little bit flatter and then kinking out at the bottom. So let's see how, and then moving that around, that texture. Okay, so I would say, when I'm putting, a little, when I'm putting my lay right in normally, so I would normally use lay right cement, this would actually feel like that would be a little bit more put in place through there, whereas this feels a little bit softer, doesn't feel like it has a real, really strong feel to it at the moment, whether that's down to using more of it, I'm not sure, let's see how that works. 
time to wash the hands. Okay, so the verdict with washing hands actually, that came off really easy, really quick. There was still no real strong scent to it. I didn't really get anything like that, um, which is something I always quite like. I think when you have something that has a nice scent to it, I feel like that actually adds to it. I mean, I think when you're looking at products, a lot of people will pick it up and smell it. That'll be the first thing they tend to go for. I feel like to get the real same look as what I would normally have and the same hold, I feel like I would have to use a lot of it. But then I feel like if I use that amount, it would weigh it down too much and it would potentially then look greasy, which is not something I want to go for at all. But we're gonna see how it goes and we'll give it a little review at the end of the day now. Okay, so it's the end of the day. Product in for 11 hours now. The thing with it, I've had to keep playing with it all day long. Normally when I've got product in, when I've got the layer right cement in, I'll put that in and then that'll be it set for the day. I haven't really got to sort of do anything with it. That's it, just set there. And today I felt like it's, it's kept getting flat. It's always sort of like sank down into it, constantly having to sort of run my hands through it. And it's it, it's moldable and you can play with it during the day. But for me, I kind of almost want it to be sat there and to really hold it. I feel like this is, if your hair's a little bit lighter, I think it would work really great for yourself. For me, I think it is probably not quite heavy enough. I think if I was to, to put enough in that it would be, give it the hold through the day, then I think it would it would look too greasy. It would look too too greasy and too heavy. So for me, it's not a great one, but I think if your hair is a little bit shorter or maybe a little bit finer, great product. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message. All my social media channels, they're gonna be down below. If you enjoyed that video, please consider subscribing. Have a brilliant day. Much love, Elliot.